All right, we're gonna get right to it. So um, you're gonna do everything in just really good form, bracing with every movement. Like you're gonna hear me saying it in your ear, brace. So you're gonna push out, make sure that your diaphragm and your ribs are tight. Okay, uh, we'll get down to it. We're doing four sets of three different exercises. The first one is a tempo goblet squat. We've done this before, you know it, and it's a really good exercise. So. You're going to hold the dumbbell here, and then you're going to get into a squat position, and you're gonna bring yourself down. One, two, three. One, two, three, one. So it's three seconds on the way down. Hold up the three seconds at the bottom, drive up. Do it one more time. Let's do it this way this time. One, two, three. One, two, three, drive, okay? So you're gonna be doing that exercise first, and then you go from there to um, 30 seconds of a bear hold leg extension. So you're gonna get yourself set. We've done this before in a warm up. We've done it as part of the actual workout before. So get yourself into a bear hold position. Open up the floor with your hands. You're going to lift your knees off the ground, and then you're going to extend your legs. Come back down, keep that nice flat back the whole time. And you're just gonna keep doing that for 30 seconds, okay? And that you, you, you can't not brace your stomach when you're doing that because you have to to hold yourself up. And then from there, you will take your kettlebell, dumbbell, and you're going to go into a floor press, a one-arm floor press. So I'm gonna do it, actually I'll do this arm so you can see better. So you've done this before, you know the drill. It's gonna be six on each side do six and you switch and you do six. So you start off by doing tempo goblet squat, bear hold leg extensions, and floor press. After that, we're gonna be going into the strength conditioning portion of it, which is gonna be 12 minutes, as many rounds as possible, so it's an AMRAP, as many rounds as possible in 12 minutes. So 12 minute AMRAP. During that 12 minutes, you're gonna get as many cycles as you can of um, four different exercises. The first one's going to be a uh, four cycles of sprint, sprint, burpee. So you're gonna do your steps where you take, you know, eight to 10 steps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I, I can't go that far in here, but you, got, you get the drift, we've done this before. And you will do a sprint, tap, turn, sprint. When you get to the other side, you're doing a burpee. Yay burpees, or you can do burpee, the score of a squat rest. That works too. It's four cycles, sprint, sprint, burpee, sprint, sprint, burpee, four cycles. From there, you're gonna go into a dumbbell front squat um, with 15 pounds, depending on how tired you are from the strength portion of it, that's how you'll base your, your front squats because you're gonna be doing um, six front squats. So you'll have a dumbbell on your right hand, a dumbbell on your left hand, and then you're gonna get yourself set. Your elbows are up, you're gonna squat, and you're gonna drive up. And then you're gonna squat, and then you're gonna drive up. All right, keep those elbows high. And we, since you just did a goblet, a template, template goblet squat for the strength, take, into consider, take that into consideration before you choose your weight for the um, front squat, so 15 pounds might be plenty. Okay, so um, after that, you go into um, eight skydivers. So you're gonna lay on the floor and you're gonna be here. And remember, it's like pulling your arms and your feet up to the ceiling. So one, back down. Two, back down. You do not do these for speed. These are slow, steady back strengtheners they strengthen everything. So you need to go slow and pulling you up. Don't, don't go like this. It's pulling you up gently. It's pulling you up, bringing you back down. Pulling you up, bringing you back down. So after that, you're gonna flip over because you're already gonna be on the ground and you're going to do um, 10 sit-ups. I just wanna make sure that I'm correct. Yes. All right, so eight skydivers, 10 sit-ups. So you can do it butterfly or you can do it the way I'm doing it or someone can hold your feet, um, but you do 10 of those, okay? So you do that for 12 minutes, and every time you get around 
um, you stop and you mark a round. You do it again. You get another round, you mark it and see how many rounds you get in the 12 minutes. All right, and then lastly, you're gonna be doing the core. And for the core, it's going to be plank circles, um, the three second, three pump crunch, and elbow taps. So you're going to go ahead and get into a plank position. And for 30 seconds, you're gonna do those plank circles. So do 15 seconds to the right, 15 seconds to the left, okay? Then you're gonna do those um, three pump crunch. So bring your legs up here, hands are behind your head. And then you're gonna come up into this position, a nice crunch position, then one, two, three, relax. Bring it back up, one, two, three, relax. Okay, that's 30 seconds of that. And then you'll do six elbow taps on each side. Hands back here, tap your elbow, come back up, tap your elbow, come back up. Do six on each side, you can modify it by bending your knee underneath, tap, come back up. Do that three times through, 30 seconds, 30 seconds, six on each side, and then you are finished and you will stretch and relax.